question 7 the data show the marks obtained by students in a biology test you have the data arranged in rows and columns a part of the question constructs a frequency distribution table using the class interval 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 and so on b draw a cumulative frequency curve for the distribution c use the graph to estimate the following remember figure one median remember figure two percentage of students who scored at least 66 marks correct to the nearest whole number so let's take the solution let's take the solution a part is to construct a frequency table now we have the class interval 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 as the sample given in the question if you look at the data set you have 92 is there i'm seeing 92 that means you continue the data set to 90 to 99 there is also 96 so if you if you if you look at the last data it guides you to know how many class interval to be added because you must ensure that the highest data is accommodated all right tally tally is the stroke representation of frequency to get the frequency easily you use tally now let me illustrate one let's use the first column to illustrate use your pencil if you strike off 52 you come here and record it with one stroke you strike off 20 you record it in this class interval you strike off 36 you record it here you strike off 92 you record it here you strike off 15 and you record it here you do that for all the columns that we give tally now you must know that a, a, a bundle of tally contains five stroke you have four the fifth one cross the four together that is five so this one stroke means one frequency three strokes is three the next three is also three this is five and one that is six you have five and three is eight you have five five two that is twelve five one is six this is three you have four and you have four in order to plot the cumulative frequency curve you need to add two other columns to the table and that is frequency cumulative frequency and class boundary for cumulative frequency is simply the addition of all the frequency where you start with the first frequency as one plus the second three gives four plus the next one three is seven plus the next one six is 13 plus the next one eight you have 21 plus the next one 12 you have 33 plus the next one six you have 39 plus the next one three you have 42 plus the next one four you have 46 plus the next one four again you have 50 this is how you obtain the cumulative frequency for the class boundary what you must obtain first is the boundary value the boundary value is difference in adjacent side divided by 2 you can take 10 and 9 you can take 20 and 19 you can take 30 and 29 the difference is always one 
if you divide it by 2 you have 0 0.5 because the first class lower limit is 0 we also have 0 here for the subsequent up lower class boundary you subtract the boundary value from the lower class limit you subtract the lower the, the the boundary value from the lower class limit to get the lower class boundary so 10 minus 0 0.5 you have 9.5 if you jump to 90 minus 0 0.5 you have 89.5 then for the upper class boundary you add the boundary value to the upper class limit so you have 9 plus 0 0.5 you have 9.5 this 9.5 here now let's take 39 plus 0 0.5 you have 39.5 let's take 89 plus 0 0.5 you have 89.5 so this is how you obtain the class boundary B part of the question is the construction of the cumulative curve and what we need is cumulative frequency against upper class boundary so you have all the upper class boundary here from 9.5 to 99.5 this k used on the cumulative frequency axis is one centimeter to five units which means one line is one centimeter and on the upper class boundary axis there's no special scale you start from the first upper class boundary 9.5 to the last one 99.5.5 and what you must note here is that the 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 difference is 10 all true you have 10 10 10 so if it is 10 10 10 from here to here so let's take it from 9.5 to 90.5 if it is 10 it means that one line is 2 so you have 9.5 level 0 0.5 30.5 and so on so the first the first uh, point is 1 against 9.5 somewhere here is 1 one line is one unit on the vertical axis four is 19.5 seven is 29.5 you have 13 is 39.5 you have 21 49.5 33 is 59.5 you have 39 69.5 42 79.5 46 89.5 50 is 99.5 what you must note is that if you plot it correctly you always have s shape for the cumulative frequency curve and that is traceable from the one I just plotted so next thing is to join the points together you can see that all the points have been joined together and that S shape is traceable so let's move to the C part of the question use the graph to estimate median now median is half of the total frequency that is half of 50 and that is 25 position of cumulative frequency so you come here this is cumulative this is the the axis for 
cumulative frequency and you you mark 25 you trace it to the curve this is the point of intersection and you trace to the upper class boundary axis and you have this point remember that one line here is two so after 49.5 you have 51.5 and 53.5 to the nearest whole number you have 54 as the median Roman figure 2 percentage of students who scored at least 66 marks now if you go to the table and you count 66 and above that means those that scored between 66 to 99 they are 13 in number so you have 13 over total frequency 50 times 100 and that is 26 percent so 26 percent of the student scored at least 66 marks Peter calls simplified maths. If you are viewing and watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe for more updates from time to time. Like and share PSM videos. If you are viewing and watching from Facebook, follow and like the page for more updates as well. Like and share PSM videos.